Lovely. So uh, welcome, everybody. Thank you so much for coming out. Um, here is our tenants' rights info session uh, about the recent 2% rate cap and how to get your rent back uh, if you overpaid. Uh, this presentation brought to you by ACORN. Uh, we are the Association of Community Organizations for Reform Now. Uh, it's an international organization, chapters all around the world, several across Nova Scotia, certainly one uh, in your neck of the woods, if you're interested. Uh, we're an organization of low and moderate income people fighting for social and economic justice. Uh, we're involved in a lot of working class movements around the province, uh, a tenants union, a workers union, a community union. We were recently uh, actually very much involved in this recent push for rent control. And uh, we're actually uh, the organizers of the big rally a mere week before this legislation went out. So we uh, are feeling pretty good about this one. If you are interested or passionate about causes like this, we would love to have you involved. Um, and you are certainly welcome to come out to a meeting or event, uh, should you be interested. But for what you're actually here for, uh, we're gonna go over the your <laughs> rules and rights uh, with the new legislation and then how you can go about actually using them. Uh, under the new rent cap, uh, your rent cannot be raised more than 2% until February 2022 or until the end of the state of emergency, whichever comes sooner. So importantly, it does not matter when the notice to raise the rent went out. They could have sent the notice to raise the rent last March, but if it didn't go into effect until this past September, it is not allowed to be raised more than 2%. So if you have been paying more than a 2% increase, you are owed that money back. Uh, what we have currently is not full or permanent, sorry, <laughs> full or permanent rent control. Uh, so there is not vacancy control. So between tenants, uh, rent can be raised more than 2%. Um, and there is no eviction ban currently, just a rent eviction ban. So, uh, we're hoping for an eviction ban under the new premier, so fingers crossed for that. Currently, you just can't be evicted for uh, with renovation as an excuse. Um, the rent can be raised in between new tenants, but if you are on a fixed term lease, um, it still can only be raised 2% per year uh, if you continue to be the tenant. Uh, again, if it was after September, in effect, after September 1st, you are eligible, you're protected by this policy, even if you have moved out since. So even if you are not still living in the property, uh, if you paid more than a 2% increase, your landlord owes you that money back. Um, if you are still living there, it is owed to you as uh, credit on future rent. If you have moved out, moved out, it is owed to you as cash in hand. Um, you do not have to be a citizen or a permanent resident. You do not have to have a written lease. If you pay rent, you are protected by this legislation. Um, if you're on month to month, month to month, year to year, or fixed term lease signed after September 2020, um, it's not allowed to say, oh, well, this next month is a new lease, so we can raise rent another X percent. Uh, if you are the same tenant, it, you are protected. Um, okay, so we're gonna, this is the, the jot notes on how you go about getting money back if you have paid more than a 2% uh, increase. Uh, right off the bat, uh, you do not have to file to stop paying more than the 2% increase. So this will be the um, process for being reimbursed what you've overpaid. Um, and we will help you uh, calculate how much you are owed, but you do not have to file anything to stop paying the excess because it is, you're not allowed to be charged that. Um, so here's the Cliff's notes um, to get your rent back. You are going to uh, file a form J with residential tenancies, which uh, we are gonna walk you through and hopefully kind of demystify that process a little bit so it's not too intimidating you're going to get a copy of that to your landlord or superintendent or property manager uh, basically uh, in your lease it 
should say uh, who you're obliged to hand it to. If you don't have a written lease, um, you can give it to who you pay your rent to, you know, who you text when the power goes out or you have repairs, like they will be a, a qualified um, recipient. Um, you will be uh, given a hearing. They're currently over the phone where a tenancy officer will determine if you are eligible to receive a credit on your rent, uh, which if you've been paying more than 2% uh, increase, you will be. Um, if you are unable to reach mediation, the tenancy officer will make a decision within 14 days of your hearing. All right, uh, so to file Form J, uh, that's the kind of default form for um, having a dispute with your landlord or, or renter. So uh, the things you're gonna want to gather and have handy before you start out are your lease, information for your landlord or superintendent. Uh, you need to calculate and know uh, the precise amount of rent you are owed back. And we are going to, uh, Sid is going to drop a link in the chat of a handy calculator uh, that will do that math for you. Uh, as well as a link to the Form J. Uh, and you also need the application drop-off payment form. Uh, if you lose track of these links, we're putting in the chat here. Um, if you Google Halifax Form J, it's like the first result, so uh, don't stress too much. Um, you will need to print these out if you do not have access to a printer. Uh, you, there are pretty generous printing credits at the library um, or at Halifax libraries if uh, that would be a good option for you. It does cost 31.15 to file a Form J. Um, you can file a Form DR4, which Sid will drop the link to uh, if you are on assistance or disability that will, I believe, cover that cost. Uh, or just while you're filing, you can say, actually, because I shouldn't have had to file this, I want my landlord to cover this fee as well, which they will have to do because they should have already given you this money back. Uh, so here is what the Form J looks like. Um, fill it out to the best of your ability. Most of this should be in your lease. Uh, if you don't know some information, leave it blank. Um, if you don't have a lease, fill out the information that you have. Uh, so it's just the basic stuff, contact info here for uh, both you and your landlord. Um, and then again, basic details of your situation. Uh, the math on the rent owed and um, rent that you pay um, needs to be done ahead of time. <laughs> uh, again, the calculator's there, um, but those numbers need to be correct on the form when you file. Uh, and if you cannot find or do not have a uh, lease handy, they are your landlord uh, said, I believe, must replace it if you request one. Yes. Yeah. Um, I don't know if there's specific legislation that says they have to give it to you, but you, you need, need to have a copy of your lease when you uh, are a renter, right? So you can reach out to your landlord and try to get a copy of that. Um, I know a lot of us are here because we have bad landlords um, who <laughs> don't follow the rules. So um, if you're not able to get that, uh, fill everything out to the best of your ability. Anything you don't know, you can leave blank. Um, and then we'll give you some information later on on like how to find um, some of this missing info. So uh, how much is the rent? It's just whatever you pay, right? Um, same mm -hmm. with take your best guess on when you moved in, things like that. Uh, all right, so when you get to uh, this section, you want to check off the requesting the award of the application fee and other, which is paying that uh, 3115. Um, uh, yeah, this is the uh, rent control specific part. Under other right return of rent payment exceeding the 2% rent cap. Be specific, this is where you need to have those calculations handy and write down exactly the amount of money you are requesting. You can't just say, uh, you know, the extra 3% from the increase, you need to have the number handy. Um, while you are filing this one, if you have other things you want to file for, such as uh, overdue repairs uh, or complaints, save yourself some time and file those as well. <laughs> 
Uh, once you are done, uh, you're going to drop off that completed Form J and payment at Access Nova Scotia. You can mail it, but it can take a while. Um, Access Nova Scotia will give you a copy and a Form L1, which is uh, to uh, completion of service to, I think. Um, um, so when you file that it's they've received it and uh, it's on record, right? Yeah. So when you file okay, the sorry. Form J, and, no, of course, when you file a Form J in payment, um, they're going to give you a copy of the Form L1, uh, which and a copy of the forms that you filed. So one of those you keep, and then the other you serve to your landlord. Um, and then Sam, take it away. Perfect. Um, so within seven days of filing that, you need to serve a representative uh, of your landlord uh, within seven days of filing that. Um, if they refuse to accept it, then that is no longer your problem. Uh, you try to, uh, and sorry, Sid, you were saying, do you report that at some point or uh, just hang on to the texts or notes or whatever from that exchange? Uh, right. So you can hand, just hand it to them in person. Um, they can't, if they throw it on the ground or throw it back at you and they don't <laughs> want to accept it, that's not your problem. Um, fill out the completion of service and then hand it into Access Nova Scotia. If for whatever reason, you absolutely can't, you have, there's no mailing address. There is no contact person. You can't serve it by email. Um, you know, you don't know where to go to hand it into. You can call Access Nova Scotia and let them know that you're having a lot of difficulty serving it. And they can walk you through the process of what mm -hmm. to do do in that situation. Um, even if you can't serve it by email and you do have to check your lease to make sure that you can email it to your landlord, if you can't, it's always, and you can't reach them by any other means, it's good, even though it's not considerably legally serving them, um, to just email the forms and let them know that this is the process that you're going through. It's kind mm -hmm. of a heads up. Cool. Thank you. Uh, so after serving your landlord, you're going to fill out that L1 form that Access Nova Scotia gave you and then return it to Access Nova Scotia in person or via email. Uh, you'll receive your hearing date after filing, might be a little bit. Uh, in the meantime, continue paying rent if possible, uh, just at the 2% increase. Remember, you don't have to file to go down to a 2% increase. You only have to file to get your money back. Um, residential tenancy hearings are happening over the phone during the pandemic. Uh, they can take quite some time. So you want to have your information and your paperwork and your calculations, you know, your general ducks in a row ahead of time. Um, here's what you want to have. Uh, a copy of your lease. You need to know the amount of rent that you are owed back. Proof that you have paid. Uh, so that can be bank statements. Um, uh, a screenshot of your account saying you've taken out, you know, your rent money in cash on the first of every month, uh, email response from your landlord, uh, that kind of thing, but proof that you have been paying, uh, a proof of rent increase. So that can be um, the notice that they uh, should have served you and any other relevant information to the situation. Um, and that hopefully should be it for your process. The landlord ought to, um, again, if you are still in the property, uh, take the amount you are owed off of future rent, or if you've already moved out, they just owe you that cash. Um, so enjoy. <laughs> um, again, we are ACORN. If you're interested in getting involved in uh, these kinds of issues in Halifax, um, we would love to have you. Coming up very soon, uh, we are having a rally at Province House as the legislature reconvenes um, to remind them of our issues <laughs> um, and uh, just get some attention. So uh, if you're interested in that, we would love to have you. Um, we also help organize buildings that uh, are having issues, um, uh, eviction, defense, that kind of thing. So um, 
yeah, if you're interested in getting involved, here's our contact information. And I think we can uh, open the floor to questions.